In the deep, uncharted waters, where sunlight struggled to penetrate the murky depths, there existed a beautiful and mysterious creature known as Mami Water. Legends whispered of its existence. Sailors' tales passed down through generations, recounting encounters with this creature. According to some scholars, the Mami Wada myth is believed to have originated in West and Central Africa, particularly in the coastal communities. It revolves around a water spirit known as Mamba Mutu, which translates to Mother Water or Mother of Water. The Mami Wada myth is not limited to a specific culture or religion, but has been adopted by different communities across Africa. It is important to note that the Mami Wada myth exists in diverse forms and interpretations. Her most common depiction is that of a beautiful and seductive being that possesses a long, flowing hair and a fish-like, serpent lower body. Others are of the belief that this mysterious creature is somewhat dangerous, possesses a dual personality can bring fortune and prosperity to those who worship and appease her, and deadly to others as she is said to abduct people while they are swimming or fishing along the river bank. She is also believed to possess the power of healing and can cure illnesses and provide spiritual guidance. Welcome to another episode of Feed Your Mind. On today's episode, we will be exploring the mysteries of the African Mami Water. Seat back, enjoy, and also like and subscribe in other to get notified whenever we post a new video. Thank you. Aside from the African continent, the Mami Water legend has successfully traveled far and wide to other parts of the world like the Caribbeans, Jamaica and in South America, through various mediums like storytellings, folk tales, and claims of an actual encounter with the creature. One of such encounters is derived from an ancient tale that has been passed down among the people of Madagascar. It tells the story of a group of Portuguese sailors who embarked on a perilous journey to cross the vast ocean. They sailed relentlessly for days and nights, venturing farther away from land. Their spirits began to dwindle, and they longed for the sight of land. One night, while the sailors were resting in their cabins, a strange and eerie sound woke them up. It was a beautiful melody, but it sounded different from any music they had ever heard. They followed the sound and found themselves staring at a beautiful lady with a snake-like lower body, sitting on a rock. The lady was unlike any other they had seen before. Her skin was pale and her hair was long and dark. Her eyes were black as coal and her voice was mesmerizing. The sailors were entranced by her beauty and her music, and they forgot all about their journey and their destination. As the days went by, the sailors became more and more entranced by the strange lady. They would spend hours listening to her music and watching her swim in the water. They had forgotten all about their journey and their mission to cross the ocean, and were contented to stay there with the creature forever. But little did they know that this lady was not what she seemed. She was deadly and her song was a trap. The sailors were under her spell, and she had no intention of letting them go. One by one, the sailors began to disappear. They would go out to sea, never to return. The mommy water had lured them to their deaths, and she was not done yet. As time went on, she had successfully taken the lives of all the sailors. She had trapped them with her beauty and killed them with her deadly song. And so, the ship sailed on, empty and lifeless, 
with nothing but the creature's haunting melody echoing across the ocean. The next account is from a traveler who had a peculiar encounter with the mysterious creature. Here is his account. While on vacation, in the southern part of Cameroon, I made a decision to visit one of their beaches. As I was enjoying my time there, I unintentionally dozed off and woke up to find myself alone on the beach. Realizing I had overslept, I checked the time and discovered it was already 7 p.m. Hastily, I gathered my belongings and prepared to leave when something caught my attention. Near the river's edge, I spotted a captivating lady with the body of a woman and the lower body resembling that of a fish. She was engrossed in admiring herself, in a peculiar mirror, while tending to her hair and enhancing her beauty. As soon as the lady noticed my presence, she swiftly fled and returned to the water, leaving behind her precious possessions. Although this encounter left me somewhat shaken, I felt compelled to collect her belongings, hoping they would offer some insight into what I had just witnessed. Later that night, around 2 a.m., I had a peculiar experience in my dreams. It felt incredibly vivid, almost as if I wasn't dreaming at all. The lady from earlier visited me and requested that I return her belongings. In return, she offered me wealth and riches, but on the condition that I be devoted solely to her. She promised to visit me at the same spot where I first saw her whenever the moon met the water, shining at its brightest. Furthermore, she took me on a journey to her underwater kingdom, revealing hidden secrets of the world to me. She emphasized that if I accepted her terms, I would be granted unimaginable luck and a long life, with all my heart's desires coming true. However, she warned that if I ever broke my promise, misfortune would befall me in future generations. Soon after sharing this encounter with some locals, the traveler vanished without a trace. Nobody knew what became of him. Rumors circulated, suggesting that he had been captured and taken to the lady's kingdom for divulging too much, and that he was condemned to eternal servitude as her slave. The next account is from a man that had an intimate encounter with the mommy water creature. Here is his account. My name is Thomas, and I want to share my intriguing encounter with a mysterious water spirit. It happened in the late 90s, in the eastern part of Nigeria, on a Christmas Eve. Due to a missed flight, I had to take a night bus to reach the capital for an important meeting the next day. I sat at the back of the bus, near the window, waiting for the last passenger to fill the remaining seat so we could depart. After about an hour of waiting, the driver decided to leave since it was getting late. As we approached the River Niger Bridge, the driver noticed a tall and beautiful dark-skinned lady standing by the roadside. She flagged down the bus and told the driver that she was heading to the capital. The driver opened the door and asked her to take the last available seat next to mine. I felt a sense of joy and excitement sitting next to this enchanting lady. During the journey, she adjusted herself and raised her dress, revealing her shapely thighs. I couldn't resist the temptation and found myself staring at her stunning figure for about 10 minutes. When she noticed my gaze, she smiled at me, melting my heart. Before I could say a word, she leaned closer and whispered in my ear, Do you like what you see? Overwhelmed by desire, I eagerly nodded in response. Feeling emboldened, 
I put my arm around her shoulders and gently touched her chest, which she didn't resist. I tried to engage her in conversation, but she seemed distant and more interested in learning about me. It felt odd, but I dismissed my suspicions and tried to enjoy the moment. As we neared the capital, she suggested getting a room together for the night. I agreed, and we found a room. We spent the night together, and it was an unforgettable experience. However, when I woke up in the early hours of the morning, I found myself near the river bank, surrounded by the sound of seashells and the movement of the water. Confused, I stood up to get a better view of my surroundings. It was then that I saw the woman had brought me back to the Niger River, close to where we first picked her up. In shock, I heard a strange voice echoing calling my full name. The voice was anything but human. I turned around and saw the woman, fully transformed into a reptilian creature. She told me that we were now bonded for life and demanded that I marry her and follow her to her kingdom, promising me the world. But if I refused, she threatened to leave me impotent. Unable to comprehend what was happening, I screamed and ran away in terror. When I reached a safe distance, I contemplated her words and checked myself, only to discover that my manhood was missing. I made several futile attempts to return to the river and retrieve what was taken from me, hoping to negotiate with her. But she was gone forever. That was my bitter, sweet experience. A tale that serves as a cautionary reminder to trust our instincts and to think twice before succumbing to temptation. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and also check out our other videos too. Thank you.